you've got money to spare but no time to waste, there's only one way to fly in a Cessna Citation 10. It's meant with one purpose, is to create the fastest plane that is not operated by the U.S. military. It uh, yeah, it feels like a fighter jet. It is. Brad Stewart is a turnaround guy for TPG Capital. His current post, CEO of ExoJet. People who tend to fly this plane tend to want to go three or four hours or more. They're tending to fly for business versus leisure. They tend to be men and women who either own their own company or who run a company, who just value that incremental 30 or 45 minutes. You know, being home late but getting some sleep so they can be there when their kids wake up in the morning is the difference between making that job work and not work. A Citation 10 tops out at 700 miles per hour. The ride time from Teterboro to L.A., four hours on the dot. Charter cost twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. Compare that to commercial. Six hours in first class will still cost you a couple of grand. If you have a little more time and want an even cushier ride, you could also try the Bombardier Challenger. Challenger to me is the Escalade of private jets. If our other plane, the Citation 10, is the Ferrari, it's built for a, a larger load. It's a great plane to go to the mountains. It's a great plane to go to the to the islands. In a Challenger, you're looking at about five hours from New York to LA. The cost a little bit more than a Citation. Ten percent of the one percent can truly justify and afford this experience and fit it into their lifestyle. Mostly it's CEOs, it's people who own businesses, it's financiers. They also are individuals who tend to have a net worth of 30 to 40 million or more and an annual income of four or five million or more. Exojet's business is business. Private jet biz tends to track the S&P. Perhaps no surprise then, with stocks near record highs, Stewart says business is great. Feels low, economy's good. It's the golden age of private aviation. Thank you.